when I came to Sojourner, I was um, homeless and I was doing drugs. And um, I got in the, um, the shelter. And with me getting in there, I was able to stop using and wanted to change my life. And Sojourner helped me to do that. Sojourner Truth House is a ministry of hope and help for um, homeless and at-risk women and children. It was founded in 1997 uh, and sponsored by the Poor Handmaids of Jesus Christ. Um, and it was founded to um, assist uh, homeless and at-risk women and their children, the underserved in Gary, Indiana. And we, we, we meet the whole hierarchy of needs, uh, starting with the most immediate needs first, of food and clothing and so on, and moving towards the deeper issues that uh, many of the women experience in their lives uh, through um, collaborative services and advocacy and all different types of uh, integrative services that we provide here. If it hasn't been for Sojourner Truth House, I will probably still be in a shelter or probably on the streets. We provide food, we provide personals, people who, um, single folks who just get $200, say, worth of food stamps, whether male or female. Um, you can only buy food with that. And so how do you provide toilet paper and soap and deodorant and pads and toothpaste? How do you do that? You know, and and we just perpetuate the stereotype of, oh, those people are so dirty. Well, duh. I mean, yeah, if you can't buy soap, <laughs> how are you supposed to? So we try and um, make connections all over the community to try and keep toilet paper and soap and so on on our shelves so that at least once in a while they get those things. I have over, probably over, over 20 years of experience in social services. You know, being able to uh, empathize with the women and hearing their stories, it's, it's always um, motivating in the sense that you may see more of that person than they see of themselves. Take advantage of the time you're with us so that we can get you really on your feet. Um, so we're not just about housing, we're about kind of a holistic approach to um, your needs as a homeless person at the moment. You know, the groups are very, very therapeutic. It helps you so much in dealing with anger or like if you have drug-related issues. And Sojourner has helped me oh, so much. It's a tremendous place. Everyone in this area knows that Sojourner is a place to go. It's a safe place. It's a place where you can receive services. And if we can't help you, we can send you to another agency that might be able to serve your needs. So Sojourner's needs in the community. The last group that we work with are the Transitional Outreach Program participants who uh, at the end of a year or so are released from the program and hopefully are able to be on their own. The walk is an annual event that we have uh, as a fundraiser for Sojourner Truth House. As a matter of fact, it is our largest fundraiser of the year. Uh, and for uh, the past couple of years, we've had it at a, a small location directly across the street from Sojourner, which gives uh, people throughout the community not only a chance to participate in the fundraising effort for Sojourner, but to also that allows us to open up our doors on that day for people who are not quite familiar with Sojourner, gives them the opportunity to come in and to actually see and tour the facility to see what it is that we do here. When a woman gets her keys, okay, to me that's a miracle. Little one, but it, to her, it's a huge miracle. We see that all the time, so sometimes we might be a little, I don't know, jaded or uh, forget what a miracle that is. But, you know, we see them every day. It's kind of cool.